Ну. Oh, she's about to fall. She just fell. Awesome. Well, guys, if I brought the, uh, sorry, there's a glare. If I brought the right camera equipment today, uh, probably would have gotten, wouldn't have gotten that shot. On, I would have gotten that shot on film. <clears throat> But uh, I uh, had to go ahead and use my broken one because I left my uh, <laughs> left my other one in the stand the last time. I brought my decoys and uh, just completely forgot about it. So <sighs> I just got a doe down now. Um, I don't know if you guys could see her. She ran off. I shot her at uh, 25 yards. She ran off about I don't know, maybe 30 yards, and just you know did this you know <laughs> stutter, stumble kind of thing. And uh, fell, so I'm gonna go actually tag her real quick, and uh, hop up back in the stand, and hopefully a buck will come by today too. And, yeah. So, but uh, in Pennsylvania you have to tag them first, so that's what I'm gonna go do. Stay tuned. I'll show you guys the blood trail. All right, so I'm just walking up on the air now. Complete pass through. See the. Uh, Rage Hyperdermics performed yet again. I'll leave that there. Actually, put up my quiver and uh, get on the blood drill real quick. Alright, so that's like <clears throat> right as this shot happens. A little bit more hair. A little bit higher than one hit, I believe. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Okay. Just started stumbling. Get over here. That was two. Now the three. And there she When you're shooting at a deer, I've been always told, you know, to aim for where you want the air to come out at. And that's exactly what I did. So, it looks a little bit, uh, flip it over. See, it looks a little bit high and far back, but at the angle that I took the shot, it's kind of like that, almost. I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying, but anyway, that was the entrance wound right there. And I believe it's, yeah down a little further the uh, skin's kind of pulling back a little bit but anyway glad I got one done. all right so I got her all tagged up and ready to go so I'm gonna head back up in the stand my stand is actually I think you can probably see it from here I'll try to okay. find a few guys just right and no, I can't find it right no. yeah it's just right there so she didn't run 30 yards about 55 yards from the stand. I think right this now. is the biggest acorn I've ever seen in my life. Thing's huge. Right under the sand. Anyway, <clears throat> so uh, I didn't get to say this earlier because, like I said, just got up on the sand, got ready whenever that deer, the deer started coming. There's actually a second one with her, but she stayed in the bottom flat. Um, anyhow, it is November uh, 5th, 2016, Pennsylvania archery season. Um, I shot her about 8.08. Never looked down at my phone. Um, so, hopefully, yeah, hopefully now a buck comes by. But it's about 8.30 now. I already got it tagged up. I'm about to climb back up in the stand. And uh, my buddy Jason also over at Chasing Trophies. Uh, he got an 8 point, so maybe he'll have a video about the recovery or something about that. Uh, so check them out. But uh, stay tuned. Maybe I'll get a buck. As soon as this thing, I have never been more happy in my entire life. I'm not even joking. Um, so that deer is down 50 yards away that way. Okay, that doe. I got up here grunted one time, one time, and this buck came in charging. He was looking for her for sure. Look at this. They're looking for a deer for sure. Look at that. Right there. I had shot him a second time just to make sure, 
but big old I think it's an eight point right now I'm not actually sure yet I'm gonna get down I was I've been too excited for the last 15 minutes that I couldn't even take a video I just called my parents you know said there's gonna be one on the wall soon so <sighs> I'm so excited right now don't even have to trail it or anything it's right there so 60 yards away from each other two deer down within 30 minutes not even so it's about what 839 or something like that is whenever I shot it and uh all right, Could not guys. Be more happy. So there's my tree stand, and there's my buck, and my doe just over the crest of that hill. That way, I'm gonna drag her over here, get some pictures probably. But I've never had a double in my entire life, and I've never been more excited. This is this is crazy. I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm so excited. Um, but I'm gonna get this guy gutted up and. Get the doe, get it up, and uh, see it happen. So um, I actually shot him. I shot him a second time because uh, I think I already said it, but uh, because he he dropped immediately whenever I shot. But wanted to make sure it was ethical and stuff like that. So you'll see <coughs> the first shot and the second shot. But because of the angle that I was at, they were kind of up a little bit high. But it ended up only having six. I don't know if you guys can tell, but. This is the deer, obviously, the buck. And uh, it only has six scoreable points on it. I don't know if you can tell right there, the um, it's rubbed off to like nothing. It's basically white. And then this side doesn't, it's not an inch. Just a little bud of a point. So only a six point, but this is my first you know, buck with two antlers in archery season. Last year I got one that broke off one of its antlers. But this is a great buck, and I could not be happier. Um, I think I've already said that multiple times, but so thankful to God for letting this happen today. You know, not not very many people can say that they got a uh, double in archery season. You know.